the only way to explain where I go through is torture, pretty much. Pushing my body 200% to the limit every single day. It's like being in the trenches. Fight camp is, is not a nice place. <laughs> The body's put through, through hell, through exhaustion. Sometimes you get in the middle of these sessions and you think there's bound to be easier things to do for a living, but that's how fight camp is. It's so physically and emotionally and mentally draining. You're surprised why people keep getting drawn back in, but to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way other than a war zone. On average, I'm in the gym three to four times a day. Morning is always is always cardio, straight out of bed and, and get that faster cardio in. So I just like that feeling of getting out of bed and, and going. It's almost like a survival instinct. Hour and 15 out of bed, 45 on the run, I am bad, is it? If, if we're gonna get four sessions in, it's, it's a little break. We're straight into some pad work, whether it be Thai boxing, um, boxing, or, or an MMA session. Usually then, a couple of hours rest, a couple of hours gaming, a couple of hours chilling out. Back to the gym then, early afternoons. Strength conditioning. And then obviously we've got a night session which will be sparring, could be, could be Thai boxing, pad work, could be jiu-jitsu, wrestling. Every single one of them sessions, you feel fucked at the end of it. So I grew up in a small Welsh town, in, deep in the valleys, called that Abbot Leary. Um, very proud of where I'm from, it's only a small town. The valley mentality is tough. It's, there's, there's, there's drink, there's drugs about, there's you know, plenty of unemployment. I think where I live has got one of the highest in unemployment rates in, in Wales or even in the UK. But at the same time, you, you couldn't meet a more supportive community. To be a young kid from, from out Leary, fighting people from America, Russia, Brazil. And I can literally be fighting guys from anywhere in the world. I can also be fighting anywhere in the world. I was born here and I'll probably die here as well. I, I love the town and I don't think I'll, uh, I'll ever leave. I'll be here till the day I die. I've had three fights in the UFC. Um, my fight in September will be my fourth. I'm fortunate to go 3-0. Um, we have two finishes, so we'll be looking to build on that now in a couple of weeks' time. I mean, I think to myself something, why do I do it? Like, every day, I finish every day at the end of every day and my body's aching and I've got a knock here and a knock there, a black eye, a bad hand, a bad knee. You've got to be physically at your peak. You've got to be mentally at your peak. You've got to be very, very tough and you probably got a little screw loose upstairs as well to, to want to chase this as a career. You know, there's easier ways to make money. The, the fight is obviously the ultimate reward. To just be in there at that level for me, to, to be in there with, in a UFC octagon strapped up in UFC gloves with Bruce Buffer announcing my name, that's the ultimate reward. Like, if, if you was gonna work for anything, you know, imagine that being the end goal. If you had to train eight weeks and at the end of it you could go and play a game of football for Man United or Liverpool, you'd do it at the drop of the ad. So it's the ultimate reward for me to get in there 
showcase the hard work and showcase the hard work of my team and my coaches as well. To show that their hard work that they're putting in and the hours they're putting in, it's not for, for a lost coach, it's, it's to help me get better and, and this is the end result. And I just love getting in there every time. And I just want to look back and think, do you know what? You couldn't have done any more. And I want people to associate my name with Welsh MMA. Whenever they think of Welsh MMA, I want them to think Jack Shaw. There's some things like legacy that can outshine titles and money and fame. So to me, that's, that's what ultimately drives me to, to keep pushing. If I could be known as the best or one of the best Welsh MMA fighters of all time, looking back in, in 50 years, and then that'd mean a lot to me as well. Hello and welcome to the uh, Curly Top YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the film. It was great fun making it. I'd like to say thank you to Jack and the rest of the team down at Shaw Mixed Martial Arts for letting me come down and film with them for three to four days. It, it was a great experience. Jack's a top guy and the work that he puts in and the rest of the team puts in is it's absolutely amazing. Um, and I hope that came across in, in the film as well. If you don't know how to watch Jack's fight on Saturday, it will be on Saturday evening. Uh, on BT Sport on the UFC card headlined by Darren Till and Derek Brunson. There is a whole host of other UK UFC fighters uh, on the card, uh, including the debut of Paddy Pimblett. So I'm super excited for that. It's going to be a great night for UK MMA. And finally, um, make sure you subscribe to the Curly Top YouTube channel. Uh, there's going to be a whole load of other content based around documentaries with athletes, how I make the documentaries, how I make other film related things, uh, my work with Cage Warriors, that you'll get behind the scenes with athletes, all of that good stuff, um, which I'm super excited to share. Uh, we have one documentary with uh, a newly signed UFC athlete coming very soon and I'm planning with documentaries with athletes from all other areas of sport as well so it won't just be mixed martial arts based um, but I hope you will enjoy the content. If you do please make sure you leave a like on this video because we want to get as many people to see this as, as we can especially with it being the first video on the channel so yeah please please share it around and, and leave a like and all of that stuff. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, there'll be a video next week breaking down how I did this documentary so yeah thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video